Jesus is God's agent in freeing humanity from Satan's dominion. The scribes who cite his exorcism ministry as proof that he is in league with Satan follow a distorted logic. Since Jesus is also the mediator of God's forgiveness through God's spirit that operates in him. The scribes do not only blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. When they accuse Jesus of being possessed by Beelzebul, but they also shut themselves off from the possibility of being forgiven by warning them of this danger, Jesus still shows concern for their reform. The scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebul, and by the ruler of the demons, he cast out demons. And Jesus called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he can stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then indeed, the house can be plundered. Truly I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. Lord, strengthen our faith in you and protect us from the subtle deception of purely humanistic logic. Amen.